What is the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we just have a short video for you guys today because a lot of people have been asking me over on Twitter, in the YouTube comments and just like generally in general. Uh, people ask me how to switch game plans, how to delete game plans, how to create new game plans and rename them and stuff. It's quite easy obviously but for newcomers to it you can actually have multiple squads. Now this wasn't in eFootball 22 when it did launch way back when but it did come in to the new eFootball 2023 update uh, there a couple of days ago. So all you have to do, right, is if I go into my game plan here, you you guys will see here that this is my kind of my my main squad, um, my God squad, try hard squad, whatever you want to call it. I'm playing a 4 2 2, two. And uh, you can see here that all my tactics are whatever, and I can do all my instructions and everything like this. But, you know, instead of having to change this squad, like, all the time, you can actually make a separate squad. So I can leave this to one side and just try and mix it up. If you go down to team here and you go to game plan list, you can click on that. And then you will be brought to your game plan list menu. So on here, you can have, a, I think it's like 10. I think it's 10, yeah, 10 game plans, right? So you'll have your main one, which is Pez Uni FC for me here with my 4222. And then I have this one, Manchester United Past and Present, which I'm going to be doing quite soon. But if we want to create a new one, we can just click on Create New. If you want to delete them, you just press Triangle and then you click on whichever one you want. When you've pressed Triangle, you click on that, you can rename it, you can delete it. So you can call it whatever that you want. So say I want to turn this Man U squad into, you know, whatever I want to call it, like AC Milan home and away or whatever. I don't want to have loads of squads, but this is very handy that if you are testing out a lot of squads and you're testing out a lot of players without having to change your team and spend so long in the menus, you can literally just create new squads on the fly, delete them as you don't need them, and then go from there again. So if we click on create new, all you will have to do is click on this and then just type in whatever you want to type in. We're going to call this test we're going to click on this and it will take your main game plan from your main squad, right? So we click on this. It's going to be our main team from our Pez Uni FC. That's our default squad. And then you can literally do whatever you want to do with it. So you can change manager, you can change team, you can do whatever you want. Now, very quickly as well, if you go into auto pick players, you can actually click on this to change and make the squad by stats or else focusing on team play style, right? So if you focus it on team play style, you will notice that the players are going to get a slight boost to their actual overalls, right? So if you focus it on here and you click on that, you will notice that Pedri is a 93 up here. And you'll notice that like if I bring on, let me see, if I bring on Romario, uh, who should be up here, where is Romario? There right? So Romario's 95 overall as his player card, as you can see down there in the bottom right. But in this 100 team play style level, he's 99. So if I go back in here and I go to team and I go to auto pick players and I go by focus by stats, you will see that when the team play style level drops before 94, below 94, Romario's rating goes down to 98. You can see there, right? So yeah, that is basically it, lads. And then obviously, again, you know, just because I know a lot of people will ask me about this, if I do have this here and I put um, Romario in, where is Romario, lads? Where is the beast? Where is the demon? If we do have Romario, I probably won't be able to find him now here. Um, Romario, 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 where are you? Why is he all the way down here if he is down here? Am I missing something? Oh no, sure, I'm, I am. I'm being stupid, lads. I probably don't see him. Let me see. Romario's already on, this, on, the, on the team, probably. He's up top. Okay, yeah. So there we go. Anyway, Romario is going to be there. But if I change around this squad and bring down the team playstyle level, like say I was to do this, right? Put Vieira, um, the team playstyle level is going to go down, going to go up. But if I bring in, say, let me see, if I bring in somebody with team playstyle level 93, like Rudiger there, and then I bring in Depay here, it goes down to 90. You will see Romario's rating and Ronaldinho's rating and Maldini's rating and Carlos's rating all go down, as well as Modric, pretty much all the players there. So you'll see it there. So when I put this in here, it'll be 97. So it's just a quick tip, lads, for you guys. If you are looking to build a team by stats or build a team by play style, this will pick the best team that you can possibly have in your starting 11. And as I said, you can simply go in to game plan list and you can make as many squads as you want. And uh, that's pretty much it, lads. It's very simple. You go into this menu, you can delete, you can choose different ones. You press triangle or Y on the Xbox for the edit options. When you click on that, you can then delete it. You can rename it. You can do whatever you want with it. So I can delete this one, no problem. And there we go. And then I have my other squads back. 
This one is obviously the one I'm using at the moment. And this one here I can delete as well because I'm not using that. That is not, uh, it's whichever the main one is that you're using at the time being uh, that you can't delete, obviously. So you just simply switch to another squad. So that is it, lads. A very quick video. Hope I don't keep you too long. And uh, yeah, we will talk to you later. We'll be back with a couple of more videos. Peace.